better get some air, guard. See anything? No. Looks like Kid Laredo took a day off. I sure thought he'd hit us before now. We'll be waiting for him this time if he does. Go ahead. I'll be all right for a little while. Get up in there. down now, but go for your gun and you're a dead man. I got no money, Laredo. You can search me. What's in the buckboard? Freight. I'm taking it out to my ranch. Is that so? Sounds like trouble. Let's go. You didn't think I'd fall for your trap, did you? Oh! oh. Just relax. Toss me your gun. I said toss it up here. All right, now the money. Now let's go around to my horse. Come on. Better get him to a doctor. What's going on here? This man's dead. Let me see. Why, it's one of my deputies. Well, here's the man responsible, Sheriff. Kid Laredo. What quite a catch you got for yourself, stranger. He got Laredo. Yeah. Let's go. Take him over to the corner. I'll be over later. Come on, inside you. I was beginning to think that this Kid Laredo was a ghost. Yeah? How come? He's the most wanted killer in the West. Say, hey, by the way, who are you two, anyway? I'm Dick West. This is my partner, the Range Rider. We were sent out by the Northern Packing Company. Well, you sure didn't waste any time. Well, looks like he's hit your company pretty hard. It's nothing to what I'm going to do when I get out of here. Sit down. How did you happen to know that the uh, driver of the buckboard was a cattle buyer? I dreamed it. You robbed three of our buyers in six weeks. You sure do have a lot of dreams. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. Lock him up, Sheriff. You think this rat trap is going to hold me? All right, come on, come on. Inside. We got enough on him to hang him ten times. Well, looks like your job is done. I'm afraid not, Sheriff. Whose idea was it to hide the deputy in the buckboard? Mine. I worked it out with Baxter Vale, your company's representative. Where do we locate this Baxter Vale? Well, you got a ranch just outside of town. I'll take you out there if you want me to. I'd appreciate it. Dick, stay here and watch the radio. Right.
Didn't you hear me, boss? I said they got Laredo. I heard you. Beautiful. Perfectly matched. Exquisite workmanship. Looked just like a couple of old guns to me. Old guns? Mike, this is a set of Quran dueling pistols. Far more accurate than your 45. Yeah, but we were talking about... I know, I know. I told the Raider not to bother that buyer. He don't like taking orders. In that case, I may have to teach him a lesson. You gonna leave him in jail? No. They think he's the head man. I want to keep it that way. As long as he's in jail, we can't operate. Come on outside. I want to try this out. Looks like the sheriff. I'll handle this. You two get in there. Come in. Oh, Sheriff. Good to see you. Same here, Mr. Vale. Oh, by the way, this is the range rider. How do you do, sir? Looks like you both got the same boss. Oh? Well, the packing company sent me up here to check up on these recent robberies. There was another one today. I know. My boys just told me. You know, it's funny the company didn't let me know you were coming. Well, I just arrived this morning. He's already captured Kid Laredo. Laredo? Yeah. Well, you are to be congratulated. And I take it out of the plan worked out. Except for one thing. Laredo knew right where the deputy was, and he gunned him down. But how could he have known? Do your buyers follow a regular schedule? Well, more or less. It takes a steady flow of cattle to supply a big firm like ours. When is your next buyer due to go out? Well, tomorrow, as a matter of fact. We have a chance to pick up a big herd. Well, there's one thing for sure. You shouldn't have any more trouble now with Laredo out of the way. <laughs> yes, thanks to the range rider. Well, Sheriff, if you've terminated your business, I think we can get back to town. Well, sorry I couldn't be of more help. Nice to have met you. Oh, I got Thank a cigar, you. didn't I? <laughs> oh, hello. What have you got here? Oh, just another addition to my collection, Sheriff. Mm hmm? When these were made, one shot had to count. Beautiful piece of workmanship. Yes. Say, how about a test? The old against the new. Let's go outside and set up some targets. Come on, Ray Ryder. Show them. Nice fair guns. Are you ready, Mr. Vale? After you, Range Ryder. Thank you. <laughs> you sure made a four out of that five spades. Not bad either. It was a good shot, Mr. Vale. Constant practice. Thanks again, sir. Anytime. Goodbye, Sheriff. Bye. Right. Boy, I give up. What's your big idea sneaking in here, scaring me half to death? And well, I was only bringing the sheriff his lunch. What were you doing here? Well, you see, uh, after I brought the Kid Laredo in, I decided I need a little rest. Kid Laredo? You captured him? Well, my partner, the range rider, helped some. <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> oh, I've heard a lot about the range rider. Well, that's only because I, I let him take part of the credit. I've been hunting gunmen now for, for 10 years. Well, you must have started when you were awfully young. Hmm. Typical woman's way of finding out how old a man is. How did you find your way here? Well, we like to help these small town sheriffs out when they, when they get stuck. You mean like um, Sheriff Lawson? That's right. You see, they're not much good when it comes to handling real gun slingers. More pie? No, thanks. How about some food for me, sonny boy? You get fed when the range rider gets here, not before. Well, why don't we give him this piece? In just a minute, he might try something. Try what? What can I do? Well, I'll hand it to him between the bars. OK, be careful. Thank you. Oh! Open up his cell. Don't Ma do it, Dickie, don't. Make up your mind. I'm not bluffing. Now, come on. Now, you shut up. 
Jake, don't. Come on, now. open it up. Here. Snap these on him. I'm sorry, Dick. Now, put them on yourself. Get inside. Hurry up. Here. Give me the key. Here's a present for you. And tell your friend, the range rider, I'll be looking him up. It's all my fault, Dick. Well, that's all right. You couldn't help it. But I've got to get out of here and warn the range rider. Yeah, but how? Well, first we've got to get un untangled here. Uh, that should be simple. Yeah, here. Hold your arms out. I'll go around. Yeah, I'll come through here. Huh? No. Got me bent down here. Fine. Like this. Huh? Right back to where we started from. Well, here. For heaven's sake, what are you two doing in those chains? Where's the radio? Get me out of here. Mike, get me untangled. You better let me get you out of those. Are you all right, honey? Sure, Dad. Dad? It was my fault. Dick warned me. Kid Laredo had a gun. Where did he get a gun? Search me, but it's over there on the desk. It's a Derringer. You mean this? Yeah, that's it. Better wash your face. It's awfully red. Soap. Maybe a fire soap chips. Very funny. Well, yeah, don't worry. We'll get him back. Bale said he's sending out a buyer tomorrow. Yeah, I know. That's right where you and I are going, because out to Vales. Come on. Oh, Sheriff, you got a spare gun? Yes, I think I've got one here. Uh, Mary? Uh, yes? What I said a minute ago about sheriffs? I know. I guess they're not much good against real gunslingers, are they? There you are. Thanks, Sheriff. Vale, I'd like to have him meet my partner, Dick West. Hello, Dick. Hi, Mr. Vale. Well, you're always welcome, but I didn't expect you back so soon. I didn't expect Kid Laredo to escape. I'm afraid you'll have to change your plans for tomorrow. I'll take the money. But what about my own men? You can't afford to take chances with other men's lives. The company's given me full authority to act as I see fit. All right. If you think that's the best course of action, just tell me what I'm to do. Thank you. Just have the money ready in the morning. You're not going alone, are you? How many bandits are there? Just one. And yeah, don't worry. Kid Laredo shows up, I'll be ready for him. Well, he can't have the nerve to attack us this soon after his escape. Oh, yes, he can. He's got the nerve all right. Well, I'll see you in the morning. Thank you very much. So long, Dick. See you, Mr. Vale. Hey, are you serious about going out tomorrow by yourself? Well, Richard, you know I'd be lost without you. What's going on? Loretto, 
I see you're not losing any sleep trying to think of a way to get me out of jail. I told you not to ride in that trap this morning. You didn't listen to me. What do you expect, Tears? You sound like you really think those jobs could have been pulled off without me. Oh, I'll admit you've been helpful. Fast with your gun, no fear, but no brains. What do you mean by that? If you'd come in here two minutes earlier, you'd be right back in jail. If you're talking about the range rider, I just saw him and his baby-faced pal leave. What did he want? He's carrying the herd money tomorrow. Alone. Good. I've got a score to settle with him. Forget it. Says who? Look, the range rider's clever. He's expecting you to try something. You know something? He couldn't be more right. All right. But you better take Mike and Pete with you. I don't want any more mistakes. The range rider's been asking too many questions already. After tomorrow, the range rider ain't going to be asking nobody nothing. Drop you. Now, toss me that bag. Thanks, the key, that's one I owe you. Are you kidding? If I saved your life 50 more times, we still wouldn't be even. Thanks, anyhow. Take care of these two men. I'm gonna go tag Laredo. I know right where he's headed. Where? Only one man knew I was carrying that payroll. Vale. Right. Come on, Gordhead, mount up. Where are the boys? The range rider got them. We've got to get out of here. I told you you'd mess it up. Forget about that now. We'll get the money from the other jobs and go. It's a range rider.
crossfire as he comes through the door. I'll take care of them. With that thing? One shot's all I need. On the split for me, Range Rider. I'm coming after you. If it takes me the rest of my life. Well, at the rate you're going, it probably will. Barry's the one I'm worried about. Now, then. now when I say go, mm -hmm. you turn right and I'll turn left. Okay. Ready? Go. <laughs> you want me to show you how to get out of that? Never mind, I'm doing all right. 